Hey guys, Rick from Rick's Flashlight Reviews on here. Today I'm doing a UV Beast V3. Whoops, UV flashlight at 385 to 395 nanometers. As you can see that. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. There is a warning at the beginning of this video. See? But, and this is the type of box it will come in. Okay, UV beast, applied lighting, expertise the king of UV flashlights period and quality lighting that's a promise all right now these are professional grade uh, UV flashlights now the warning would be is if you own one of these if you're gonna th think about buying one of these or both of these okay that's a totally different one. Uh, I'm not saying people. Uh, please don't look at the light or shine in somebody else's eyes because it will cause damage to your eyes. It will give you eye burn. Then you'll have that gritty, sandy feeling in your eyes afterwards. All right, if you look at it at a long period of time. Now, another people that use these is the paranormal investigators. Uh, if they have like full spectrum cameras, they could use these. Okay, well, let's get into this. See what we got. I did get these today, and here you got your safety glasses, which I would highly recommend people wear using these things. Your warranty. Your charger and your wall plug for the charger not a bad looking charger your extension tube so you could put an R18650 in for a longer run time plus it's housing your three spare o-rings and the flashlight because there's nothing else in the box Okay, now there was a sticker on this. I took it off right here. It's to let people know. Whoops, that is there is a plastic disc. Okay, there's a plastic disc inside of the battery compartment to take out to charge and before use. Okay, I would recommend people to fully charge these as they get them. Okay, all right. Now, the design and the finish on this is excellent. There, there's no flaws on it whatsoever. Has some nice, decent knurling right here on the handle, as well on the battery tube, which I'll show you here in a minute again. Says UV Beast right here on the handle. And V3 on the other side of the handle. Alright, does have anti-roll feature. That it does have nice deep heat sinking in there to dissipate the heat away from the head. It has a kind of a crenellated edge on it. In the front, this is all air, uh, all aluminum or aluminum in their British language. On the business end, you got your three UV LEDs and a highly polished aluminum or yeah, aluminum, aluminum or aluminum reflector. It's not that cheap plastic, okay. 
Now let me take this apart to show you guys what the threads and stuff would look like. It is a tail clicky, so there's no forward switch. There's your plastic disc you gotta take out before use and charge. go and it's all apart I got a sinus ache here now I'll focus would you the threads on it are well cut they have grease on them there's double O-rings here in the back where your tail cap would go. And up here, looks like lithium grease with well cut threads and an O-ring. Okay? That would be your towards your head. In your tail cap, you just got a straight contact for your negative. And well cut threads. It's nice in there. In which you could tear this apart if you need to ch change up your tail switch if it wears out. Those two little divots are for like a small pair of pliers or snap ring pliers. So you could, you know, twist that ring out of there. And then the business end, you got a nice spring. Looks like it's heavy duty. Look, could be gold plated. I believe it is. <laughs> Excuse me. And you got your retaining ring down there as well. Just in case it needs to be serviced. And you got your well cut threads in your head as well. Okay. Now before I get this all apart or all put together, I'll show you show you with it with the uh extension tube on it. That's for your longer run time. But before that, before I get to that, it does come with two 18650s, 2600 milliamp batteries. Alright. So here's your extension tube. There's your nice knurling that I was talking about. The screw on there. Like so. And it does have two O-rings back here as well with nice cut threads right there. Okay. Now this will accommodate the three 18650s. Then all you have to do is screw your tail cap back on. Now the other one will look similar to this, but it's black. So that's, that's what it'll look like. All to put, get all put together with the three section or the two sections of the battery tube in it. All right, so it makes it quite long. Now UV is not visible to the person's eye, and I'm not talking about the I'm not talking about the light that comes you know, emitting from it. It's the what you can't see, okay? I mean, what I, what I mean you can't see is when you shine on an object, it should glow, and that's what you see because your what comes out of your UV light is a short wave length. And when it hits the object and comes back, it's a bigger wavelength. Okay? So, there's what it looks like when it's turned on. I don't know if you guys could make that out. It's glowing. 
Maybe I'll turn off the lights here so you get, guys can get a good look here. Another, another one would be my jacket that's behind me. See what I mean? It's glowing. Okay. It's better in person than it is on camera. I can guarantee that. Take my jacket here, for example. It is kind of a safety green. As you can tell, it's lighting it up pretty well as well. Okay? Jesus Christ, Jack. So, that's what these lights are for. You know, checking out your hotel room, see how clean it is. You know, investigations, like if you're looking for blood or whatever, paranormal investigations and stuff like that. All right? So, that's the first light here, guys, I'm talking about. Your safety glasses which I will recommend people wear using these uh, UV flashlights. <sighs> it does come with this charger. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't have too bad of springs in them. It's just a push back up. Just put your ass in of your battery on a spring and then your positive one goes in the nipples there. This is professional grade flashlight, guys. Your short tube, or not short tube, but your extender tube, and your uh, wall plug. Okay? Oh, and don't forget these. And it does come with three, three spare O rings. What's going on with my damn focus here? Right there. Three spare O-rings. Okay? So, that's it for this one, guys. That's what you get in this flashlight here. It is the 385 to 395 nanometer. UV flashlight. Stupid thing. You could get it from Amazon. I don't know where else you could get it. I don't know if you could get it on uh, eBay or not. But it is through or sold through UVB store itself. And the price is $59.99. Okay, right there is the price. Let me see if I can't. Okay. So that is the price for this one. Okay, from Amazon. So I would recommend people to pick this up if they're looking for a good, decent, professional grade UV light for what for their purposes, okay? Uh, so I would rec I would recommend UV beast to you guys from me, okay? And I will leave all the specs and stuff in the description description box down below so you guys can read it for yourself. Uh if you like this, I'd like to thank you guys for coming. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Please ring that notification bell. Select all for me, please. If you haven't subscribed, please do so on this channel and my first channel, GPPI. And always leave a comment down below for me, please. Uh, I'm going to be doing the other one next. It's the 365 nanometer. UV flashlight it is the same type of flashlight but black and it does have uh, something extra to it 
and maybe a little bit later on I will do a light comparison for you guys uh, and a difference between them okay so till then I catch you on the flip side just keep shining on out there please stay safe and I'll talk to you later bye bye